Hello doll lovers, it's Ruby Red's World of Dolls and welcome back. Guys, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope that all is well, fantastic and fabulous your way. Yes, I'm back two days in a row. Can you believe it? Two videos back to back. But I was here in the doll room. I'm in the mood this weekend to spend time in here and you know, I'm doing a little thing here and there and I'm going through my little stuff from my haul yesterday and doing what I do with it so I can put it up and I thought why not you haven't you haven't took your camera stuff down why don't you just go ahead and you know pop in on everybody and show everybody what's a little update so you know sometimes you guys ask questions in the comments you know and I answer but you know I think about it yeah I should have shown them that in the video but in my last haul I received these white chairs this was one of my purchases and I really love these chairs. Um, they had them in black and white. And I ordered the white ones. But I definitely want to get two of the black ones. Um, this is the design of them. And they're really cool. And um, you guys asked me in the comments. How do the dolls um, sit in the chairs? And I told you they sit very comfortably. I mean they are definitely 1-6 scale. So I have one of my um, regular made to move bodies. Um, sitting in the chair as you can see she's very comfortable in the chair and you know the chairs are you know very nice you know and we know with the made to move bodies you know we can maneuver them any kind of way we want so great fit perfect fit so I told you that it did but I wanted to also show you because sometimes seeing is believing so she looks absolutely comfortable and you know it's it's just nice I love these chairs they're so elegant and I really like them so I hope that I can get the two black ones two of the black ones before they sell out because you know they're always low in stock they're they are $4.99 or something like that a piece they were like four dollars and something a piece which to me is not bad for very good um, quality one six scale furniture I couldn't make this chair for four dollars I couldn't so I don't mind paying the four bucks I don't so that's the cheers so that's an update in that and then here is one of the dresses that also came in that order and I wanted to show you guys the dress and how it fits on the doll I said I was gonna iron it and I never did because like I said I haven't placed it on you know went to use it on one of my dolls but I wanted to show you guys how it fit now this is a um, regular made to move body and as you can see I think this dress is more um, designed to fit the curvy body I feel like a curvy doll will look better in it because it is a loose fit and you know she still has plenty of room in the back it's really cute I really like this dress um, I feel like once I iron it and put it with the right accessories and stuff, it's going to be a cute little dress for a little party or something, you know. It's going to give me a great photo story for something, you know. So I couldn't pass it up. It was it was a under $2 purchase. You know, like I told you guys, I don't care too much for the clothing on Timu because this is usually, you know, you get the lower end quality pieces. Now with AliExpress, you have different sellers. So you kind of have different levels of doll clothes that you can purchase on AliExpress. You know, the price points a little higher and you know, you get, you know, you get better, better quality clothes. But for the price point, this was a lot of bang for my buck. You know, as someone who sews a little bit, I can tell you that for a $2 dress, you know, the stitching around the neck, they put the extra here, they put the extra on the sleeve, the dress is hemmed, and you know, on the inside, everything is done nice and neat. Um, the Velcro is put in good, and it has little pleats and little details, and then they put that big bow there on the front. For a $2 dress, um... I think that I got a lot of bang for my buck here. This is what I mean when I say bang for your buck. So I think my beauty looks very good in this dress. She is really looking good in this. She's a beautiful doll. She looks good naked. I could have put her up here naked and she would still look good. You guys know this is the Redhead um, Limited Edition um, Walmart exclusive from last year. And um, I was fortunate enough to get her. And I have two of her. Um, I have just her head over here on my spool, my spool of heads, because she's a beautiful doll. She is gorgeous, 
and definitely worthy of a made to move body here in my, my mini verse. So that's her and her dress. So I also wanted to show you, tell you guys, you guys remember I these gloves, you know, the little gloves. I wanted to, I was hoping that these gloves would fit partially or somewhat on the dolls. But I didn't go into detail on the review. But you're not getting your doll's hands in these. So like I said, they're more like a a prop in your pictures and in your doll scenes. You know, you just lay them on the counter. You know how you do your gloves. You can't throw them across the sink, the faucet, because you know they don't bend like that. But these are not ones that you, even though there's a whole, you know, the Barbie hands won't fit in it. They're too big. But I thought I'd tell you guys that, you know, just wanted to update you on that. And then you see what I'm doing with these little plastic containers. You know, these little plastic containers are really affordable. And I like them because, again, they're clear. And you can store little stuff in here. You can see what you got. Like my bunch of bananas that I got. You know, the bag that they came in burst. So I just put them in here. And then I know where they are. When I grab them, I can see what I got. Same thing with these. These are... Um, a cheaper version and a smaller one but again it stores my um <clears throat> my little miniature things very um neatly away and um keeps them you know where i can see them and then you guys remember i bought a bunch of the ear piece the jewelry for the ears you know this is ear jewelry and of course i'm going to show you guys in one moment what I'm using it for. I told you I was going to use it for jewelry for my dolls. And you know, these are the pieces that go on the hair. These are the um, hair pieces. And no, these are more of the ear cups. These are the ear cups as well. These are the hair pieces. These are the ones that go on the hair. And yes, you can open them and, you know, maneuver the size of them. And I got the silver ones too. But their bags are good to go. So I didn't take them out of their bags. But these were in like little bags that were ripping. So I said, let me pull out my little plastic containers and um, show you guys what I use these little containers for. So here are the little pieces of jewelry. And as you can see, you can, you can bend it, cut it if you need to for your dolls. Now let me show you this doll here. Let me get her. All right. So she's on a made-to-move body as well. This is not her original body. This is the Luna um, Luna New Year doll. Oh my goodness. I'm not sure. She was. She's like two years old maybe. I think two dolls have been released since her. Two are one. I don't know. I can't keep up. But she was one of the ones I definitely had to have. She went on sale. And I jumped on it. And then I can't, she came in a damaged box and all of that. And um, I ended up getting another one in a more prestige box. So, you know, I ended up with two of them. So I said, I'm going to rebody um, this girl and put her on a made to move body. She's on the Barbie Looks Victoria's body. And it is a perfect match. So she's a tall. She's on a tall body. But I want to show you guys what I'm talking about with these little jewelries. So you can use them for chokers. It looks really good on her. I love this black with her skin tone you can use it for the arm i'm not sure of the proper name when people wear them on their arms like that and then you can wear them for cuffs you know i say cuffs i guess and then they make great bracelets this is all one set in the black and they're very nicely done the pieces are nice they look just like they were meant to be jewelry pieces for one six scale dolls now she's also wearing the other dress because you guys know in the last haul i got two dresses from timu so i got this one with the feather look and i must say again for my money this dress is a lot of bang for my buck you know i gotta match her up with some shoes i just put the dress on her and the jewelry so i could show you guys what it looks like so i'm not finished with her you know i'm not she's been in the same outfit for so long so i said let me try this on her but the dress fits really well on her and like i said she's on the tall made smooth body and it looks really good so again if you see this and you're interested and you want to know how it looks on the doll here it is it looks really good and again the tailor um the um craftsmanship looks really it's really good you know for what you pay for for what you spend, you get a lot of bang for your buck. You know, all the neckline, the arm line, you know, everything is done very nicely. Some of my little feathers fell off, 
but not many and you know they're on there but you can expect that when you're using something like this that you might not get it all stitched so I lost like a couple of them just a couple but again I think she looks fabulous in there and then again like I said this is just a little video to show you guys what I'm doing and what some of my plans are with a lot of this stuff that I'm purchasing for the dolls so that's that and then I told you guys about the jewelry now this is an ordinary dress <laughs> that I ordered from AliExpress um, these were some very nice dresses. If you guys have watched that video, um, it's been a little while since I did that video, but I got these dresses for like a dollar and, um, I got every color that I liked and they had them in several colors, red, royal blue, pink. Um, I got every color and they're very nicely made. Again, the stitching, the craftsmanship is very nice. So I wanted to show you guys what I meant when I told you I ordered these pieces, this jewelry. It's nice jewelry to wear as well, guys. I mean, this is not bad jewelry to just wear. You know, you probably get you'll probably get to wear it a couple of times before it tarnishes or whatever. But you know, it fits very well and it's nice to wear for jewelry, you know, for yourself. You know, you can't you can't beat this jewelry. So this is the set. And then this piece came in it as well. So I think it was, what, four pieces? Because she's wearing the bracelet. And then I'm wearing these. But I'm also going to use these also for the dolls. Because, you know, I, I have my same special jewelry that I wear all the time. And I have some jewelry that I like to fix up sometimes when I call myself being sharp. But this was one of the ideas I decided to use. This dress went from a casual, everyday dress to a evening dress. A evening dress you know for a special occasion how you can spruce it up so I just you know put the dress around the waist because it is that stretchy stuff and I just wrapped it around and you know fixed it up and now she has a belt <laughs> she has a cute belt and it kind of touched up the dress a little bit and then here is the hat you guys I got these two hats remember and, you know, the hats can work on these dolls. But depending on the doll's hair, as you can see, if you want to stick a um, straight pin or something through the head to make it um, fit better, you know, but this is how it really fits. And it really looks good on her. She, again, is another beautiful doll. This is one of the fashionistas from a few years back. Um, I just love her. I know a lot of people don't like the open mouth dolls. But if it's done correctly, I'm cool with it. I love for my dolls to smile. My mini me, it's got the smile. Because she, you know, I usually, usually smile. Because most of the time, I have a lot to smile about. But this is what I wanted to show you guys. My ideas for the jewelry. So that you guys can say, well, what in the world is she going to do with that? So now you see. <laughs> now you see. But again, you can also use it for jewelry to wear on your arm. Um, Work for yourself, you know, and and I only paid like a dollar and seventeen cents for these sets. Now a dollar and seventeen cents. I got this one, and then I got this one as well. Oh, I love that, and it's gonna make some great pieces for whenever I decide to use them. So that is that, and what I'm using the jewelry pieces for. So this is just just a video to show you guys a little bit. Now these little pieces came off of one of the purses, a little um keychain purses you know you I take these off too because guys you can use these also you know I don't throw away anything even the keychains I save them because I might somebody might need them I don't need them but somebody might need them and they're too good to throw out but this is nice stuff these little tassels that come on those little keychain bags they're really nicely done again for the price point this stuff on Timu I'm getting bang for my buck you know it would make a cute little um piece on a dress you know I could use this because I'm I'm getting in my creative stage again you know where I want to create and so you know last Sunday I was bored and you know I had got those shirts for um the Angel Cakes mini me and my mini me and I said you know come on 
pull out the sewing machine, let's make some jeggings, you know, and then I made two pair of jeggings for the angel cake, I made us uh, some skirts out of the same material, and that's just material from a pair of um, jeggings my daughter had years ago, and she ended up cutting them off the shorts, and the material was too good to throw out, you know, so I, they got to make some jeggings, you know, so I, you know, I'm, that's what I'm saying, I don't like to throw anything away or get rid of it because later on I might can find something to do with it. But I do get in my moments where I don't like clutter and I'll go through and get rid of something and then later on I'm like, why did I do that? So that's that. All right, so then I wanted to show you guys um, some of my guys and what I've done. So let me get John with his fine self. Come on up here, John. You come to the front. All right, so I told you guys I bought this as a gym bag, and the, the word that I could not get to mind when I needed to is a duffel bag. That's what it is. My son-in-law has a duffel bag of this size. He has a couple of them. You know, he's a basketball coach, and you know, you can also use these bags for travel. So this is about the true size that a duffel bag would look when you carry it yourself. So I think it works pretty well with the cans. I really do. I think it looks really well. But I just sat this hat on his head so that you guys could see that. But I wanted to show you guys what I've done with John's hair. Um, the braids are great as long as you keep them up in his original do. You know? And on display, I have him in this original do. Like I do all the dolls. But when I took the braids down on my second one, <coughs> excuse me, guys, um, they were awful. You know, they were thin and I couldn't get them to lay, um, lay in the right way and I just didn't like it. So I decided to whack them all off and I decided to do my first flocking. And I don't think I got the best quality flocking because, you know, I ordered it from Amazon because I wanted to just test it, be test the waters before I invested money and stuff in it. But... It turned out pretty well, I think. I think I did a pretty good job on this, on his flock. And I think I blended it pretty good and got the right length as the original hair. And I think he turned out pretty good. And not only that, I even flocked him a goatee. I <laughs> look at that. You know, so he, you know, he, he, he's just so smooth. Look at him. He's just so smooth. You know, some people th thought that this was not a handsome doll. But listen, I think he's handsome. I think he's sexy. Yes, that dark chocolate skin with that serious look and those deep, oh, look at those lips. I mean, he's gorgeous. He is gorgeous. He is definitely, if I saw him in human form, I would give him a second look. <laughs> I definitely would. But he's wearing one of my Ellen Prieve, um fashion sets that I got a little while ago. I did have it on my fashionista. So you guys remember the the fashionista we got with the braids and he had the new brand um skin tone handsome guy for the longest time he was on this body but it was not a good match but there's a camouflage jacket that also goes with this set and because it was a turtleneck and the jacket had a collar on it you know i could get away with it in photos and i got a few photos and photo stories with him in it but i just decided to retire him to the spool of heads and put john back on his body and, you know, give him a different look with the hair. And I think it turned out pretty good. You know, he's a he's a handsome doll. And um, I love him a lot. I'm thinking about giving him a diamond in his ear. You know, I think that'll be my next thing. All right, so then I just wanted to give you guys another idea um, that you could use. Now, this is Doc, um, Mr. Joseph. Mr. Joseph is a first grade teacher. He's a teacher of 10 years. And he wouldn't dream of doing anything else. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you saw his little photo story. Uh, him and his first graders on the field trip in the park. Um, I got this set that he wears with the cooler from Amazon. I had always wanted it, but it was a little pricey for just what I wanted it for. You know, I didn't want the can. <coughs> And, you know, it's the same old Ken, but I love these stonewashed jeans, these white vans, and I love this checkered, white, um, this checkered print shirt. I love that shirt. And again, I love this cooler because when do we ever get 
um, merchandise with the Ken logo on it, guys. When did we ever get that? And it's a nicely done cooler. I really like it. And it's on Amazon right now for $10.99, I think. So I saw a fashion set when I saw it. You know, from the t first time I saw it, I saw a fashion set. And um, I only wanted it for the pieces. So his personality is perfect for this, Mr. Joseph. So it came with this map, as you can see. And I think this is part of the Big City, Big Dreams collection. Also came with these purple uh, binoculars. And it came with these same old gray sunglasses. Mr. Joseph likes to wear his glasses there. And then it came with a bag of snacks, as you can see with the Barbie logo. And then it came with this little water bottle, thermos bottle, because it doesn't necessarily have to have water in it. And then it has the Barbie logo there on the front as well. Then on the inside, this is what it looks like with a little ice in the bottom. So I'm giving you guys a review of this fashion pack. I mean, this set. And um, <laughs> if you if you're interested in it, but this is it's on Amazon for um. $10.99. I think the regular price is like $16.99 on this. And um, that was just a little much for just a little few pieces that I wanted to use. But it looks great on him. So that's what I'm saying about how you buy sets just for the accessories. That is one of those sets. <laughs> that is one of those sets. So that's just a little update video I wanted to pop in again. Because I was in here and I thought about... You guys asking me, a few of you asking me about these chairs, and I wanted to um, show you guys the dolls in the chairs. And let me see, sit Joseph in there. Sometimes the Ken's pants are really tight, and it's hard to get them to sit down. But let me show you Ken in the chair as well. So there's Mr. Joseph sitting in the chair. And as you can see, the chairs are great. You know, they seat Ken's and Barbie's very well. Um, and then just a little update on the juries and what I use the juries for. I like to share my ideas because I have received some wonderful thoughts and ideas from other collectors. So we got to share, you know, sharing it, sharing is love. <laughs> sharing your great ideas is love. You know, that's what this community is all about. You know, sharing our ideas with one another, you know, feeding off of each other. So that's what I wanted to drop in and share with you guys. Um, it's a lazy, relaxing Sunday. Um, I'm going to try to watch a little TV. And, you know, it's sad <clears throat> when you have to force yourself to sit down and watch a little TV. Usually I'll sit down, but then my mind gets focused on something else, like something I can do in my doll room. <laughs> but now that I have come in here and got my little stuff organized and got my stuff set up like I want, then, hey. I could probably sit down there and relax and watch a little TV, maybe have a little glass of wine, you know, whatever. But that's it. Guys, I thank you so much for stopping by. And, um, oh, I wanted to share this too, because I mentioned in my video yesterday <clears throat> about the Roots Mateo collaboration doll. And um, I told you guys that even though the doll sold out on the Mateo site within minutes, that she was still available on um, the roots.com actual official site. And some of you said in the comments that you were unable to get it. <laughs> I heard somebody, he did a live, and he was saying that he was unable to order it as well. Something, I don't know. I don't know what could have conspired. But I do know that when I went to the page the first time, I was given the first page... I had to select my country. So I had to select my country. So I selected the United States. And then I went on to the site. And the doll was available. I told you guys. I did an account and everything. I put the doll in my shopping cart. I proceeded to pay and everything. And everything would have went through. You know. But then one of you said that you were not able to get it. That it said it only shipped in Canada. So I don't understand that part. So I don't know if it's because maybe you need to go back and select your country. Um, I don't see why people in the U.S. wouldn't be able to get it. And the shipping was only $10. Now, I was shocked on that. The shipping was $10 for me to get it. And guys, it's still in my shopping cart. And I'm still tempted to get it. 
um, two hunky toys. He went. He lives in Canada. He went in and he purchased. He ordered it online, but he went into the store and he said they had plenty of them. And he did a review yesterday. So if you want to see a review, <clears throat> a review of the Roots Mateo collaboration doll, swing on over to Two Hunky Toys channel and check out his review. He always does such detailed reviews. I love his channel. He's such an awesome, such an awesome person. You know, he just has one of those personalities that I'm just drawn to. <clears throat> open honest no no airs about him you know he's just a straight shooter and and i like that but um after i saw his review i'm really leaning toward getting a second one because now i want one to keep in the box and i just feel like because it we are not so uh, easy to get them you know, I don't know what might happen later, and I don't want to be subject to regret. And my instinct is telling me, go ahead and get it. Go ahead and get it. So I I might just go ahead and get it because my instincts won't leave me alone. And I wanted to show you guys this as well because you guys know, and then I'm going to end this video. But I was able to order this hoodie in adult size. You know, they, for the longest time, the adult size was sold out. And I finally received an email notification update that this sweater is in adult size. And I was able to order it. It's $69 though, guys. But look, <laughs> you only live once. And um, I love this sweater. And I want my mini me and I to be twinning. So, you know, hey, and I love hoodies. So, for me, hey, I normally would pay $50 for a Gap hoodie. You know, I have hoodies. And a nice hoodie will cost you about that. So, it's 69 bucks for the adult size. I mean, the kid size was, um, what, 59 So, you know, hey. So, I just thought I'd put that out there, too. That they finally have it back in stock. The Gap Barbie collaboration. This hoodie is now available on the Gap site and you guys know how fast it sells out so if you're interested and you want to make sure you can get your size you better run on over jump on over to the Gap website and check it out 69 bucks though but it's free shipping because you you ordered the max so I had to get it you know I had to get it my Barbie my Barbie gear I gotta be right you know <laughs> Alright guys, I think that's it. I just wanted to update and post you guys. Keep you guys posted on what's going on as often as I can. Alright guys, you know the drill. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to check us out on Instagram. We are Ruby Red's World of Dolls there. Continue being awesome, fantastic, and fabulous. And I will see you awesome, amazing people in my next video.